Hi everybody. Um, I am going to be showing you guys some new plates that I got. This is the Shaney set and this is what it comes in. I got these from Amazon. They were I think $13.99. It's a set of 25 plates. I thought the box was kind of cool. It says Shaney on it. Um, <laughs> then I thought I'd show them to you up close like I do with all the other ones. So it comes in the little plastic pouch. It says Shaney on it. And the plates are not back, kind of like um, the original Bundle Monster set was. And I actually thought a couple of mine were going to be gashed pretty good because of the way that there was like big cuts in them, but it turns out it was just on the plastic. But I'm going to talk about the plastic for a little bit. First of all, I normally don't have trouble taking plastic off of plates. These are kind of a pain. And in the process, Look what I did. Yeah, cut my finger open. So <laughs> what I'm doing with this plastic, normally I can just kind of go like this along the edges, right? And it usually peels up. For some reason, this plastic is like really, it's like really thin, and it's almost like they've put some sort of glue on it because it, the plates have got this kind of film on them now. I mean, you, if you've seen my other videos where I show plates and how to peel off plastic, you can tell I've never had this much trouble getting these things off, okay? So, yeah, I sit here and I go like this until my edges start to come up. I honestly don't even know how I cut my finger. I just was messing with them. The edges are kind of sharp, obviously. Um, I would say they're almost a little bit rougher cut than even like the original Bundle Monster set was. Oh, here we go. We're finally starting to get some plastic. Um, there we go. So when I go to pull, and you can see it's kind of like crinkly, if I go to pull it off the way I normally do, like this, it's like tearing in pieces. It's like ridiculous. You see this? Okay. So that is not a fun technique. If you try to lift it up, you know, it's just like gross. excuse me, big pain <laughs> in the butt. Uh, yeah, so I'll peel the rest of this off later. But what I'm going to do is, let me see, I'm going to show you at least the way that I did it. And somebody just posted on my Facebook that they wet their finger to do it, which I haven't tried yet, and I probably should. But what I was doing, if I can get this thing started again, I know this video is going to end up being a little bit longer because of this long process pulling plastic off, but I wanted you guys to see, like, seriously, real time, how long this takes. Oh, gosh. Okay, so now that I'm finally getting a little bit of an edge, this is the way I started to do it where it finally started to work a little. What I do is kind of put my finger in the middle, and I kind of try to peel away the edge along the outer around the outside. There we go. And I just work my way around the outside. In fact, this one has some little chunks in it, so it's harder to take off. But I worked my way around the outside and then peeled off the center. That seems to be a technique that worked a little bit better for me. Not saying it's perfect, but okay. And then you can see it's there. If I get a little closer, you see all this? This is like some sort of gooey, gluey kind of film. So that was kind of thick. Um, so then I also wanted to see if I'm going to try acetone. In fact, I haven't even done this yet, so you guys are kind of going along for the ride with me. Okay, so what I'm going to try is just taking some pure acetone and try to get this glue off. And normally I don't use pure acetone on my plates because it makes this weird sort of halo, and I feel like it might ruin the the, lead, the metal, but in this case, getting glue and stuff off, oh yeah, this is way better. So I'm just sort of scrubbing this with a little cotton pad and pure acetone. Now it's like clean and shiny. So it looks like I'm going to have that one extra step to use these plates, okay? I'll show you the images up close here in a second. Okay, so now that I've cleaned off all the plates, here we go. Here is plate number one. So 
feel free to pause at any time if you need to to look at this a little closer. Here's number two. They all say SH and then they're numbered, so. Three. And after I show you all of these, I'm going to um, test them out because I haven't even tested these out to see how well they work yet. So I thought you guys might want to see that with me as well. Oh, cute. Look at the little bumblebee. <laughs> As you can see, I've literally like just opened this package, so I am kind of re-seeing these for the first time. And yeah, this looks like this is just a plain French tip. This one's got like a little squiggle, so a little hard to tell. Here's point number seven. This would have come in handy on uh, New Year's. I could have done a 2012 like on four fingers. And really a division sign? You're going to do math on your fingers? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, here is number eight. Kitties and puppies and paw prints and... Is that like a baby or something? I think that's supposed to be like a little Cupid doll type face. Like a baby. Kind of funny. And this, it's hard to see if it's like a penguin y kind of thing. I don't even know. I don't know. I will not try to interpret, I will just show you. <laughs> Here's number nine. Yes, that's a little bikini two piece. Okay. Ten. Eleven. Like bear claws. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen, I love palm trees. Just saying. <laughs> here is plate number 20. Almost to the end here. Uh, full nail images. Yeah, these are just as big as the other ones. Although this one looks bigger than this. Um, this is long and skinny and this one's skinnier and I don't know. Plate number 21, all larger images. Kind of some neat background. Fancy lace. These are pretty. 22. These all look like they're the bigger images as well. 23. Looks like maybe only that one plate had the smaller ones, although these look a little smaller too, but. They're a little skinnier images, I guess. 24. The one I was having such a hard time peeling off. <laughs> and lastly, number 25. I'd have to test these out, I suppose. Okay? So now that you've seen all 25, if that's all you wanted to watch this video for, you're welcome to uh, move on from here. But now I'm going to set up and 
test out these plates just to see how well they stamp. So let me do a little bit of setup and I'll be right back. Okay, so all I did was just swipe a quick one coat of InstaDry Whirlwind White. I didn't even put a base coat so it's streaky, but since I'm just doing this so we have some contrast for the stamping test. I'm going to use my Conad Red Special Polish. I haven't even opened this yet. I just got this recently too. So I'm going to start with plate number one. Um, I just want to test out this kind of, actually, I think I'm going to test this flower out because the flowers seem to be like really deep and I wasn't sure what kind of result I was going to get out of that one. So I'm going to start testing that one. Wow, this Conad polish is really runny. Well, there you go. Nothing left on my stamper. All of it's on my nail, and it's the entire image. It's kind of bold, but everything went on nicely. Okay, so the next plate I wanted to try out was um, plate number 15. I'm going to try this kind of cross here because it feels really shallow and it's kind of wispy, so I want to make sure that that one's going to work. not even going to be centered. <laughs> well, there you go. It all works. All the detail is there. It worked really well. I'm kind of actually pretty happy. Um, next I'm going to try off of plate number 20 some of these different size um, full nail images because I just have this feeling the smaller one is going to be I'm going to try this one here, kind of that smaller, more narrow, but it's kind of hard to tell, so let's give that one a try. Okay. Well, I will say this, the detail is coming out really great. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, Size-wise, it covered my nail. It actually covered it just about right. It might be slightly small for um, like a thumb, but most of the images usually are. So since I have this one now that looks much larger, I'm going to try that one actually on my thumb and see how that one goes. Actually, I didn't even get all of it on my fingers, so I was that covered my thumb pretty well. So that really big image, that worked really well. So that's a huge size. In fact, that one almost seems like it's bigger than some of the other ones. In fact, let me let me go grab a Conad plate with some bigger images and see how that goes. Okay, so to compare sizes. This smaller one is actually, this is a Conad plate, number 57, and if I compare the two, these actually look like they're the same size. So I was wrong in saying that it was smaller because it actually looks like it's the same size. And therefore, this bigger image, it's not the best ink cleaning job right now, but comparing get this out of the light. So I'm looking at the, okay, I'm going off screen here. This actually is just slightly wider. So this is about the same size as the Conan images, and this one is actually slightly larger. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, and here's an old, here's the original Bundle Monster set. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm comparing these two top images. 
Uh, I'm going to say this one's still slightly larger, but I guess it must not be the same size as the Conad. Well, yeah, it is. Okay, so the Bundle Monster ones seem to be still just slightly smaller than this. Okay, so I guess that covers everything. They stamp really well. The detail seems to be really good. Um, this is, of course, with Conad polish, but it looks like they're going to perform pretty well. It's pretty much as like the other um, stamping plates that I've got. So other than the icky peeling plastic off and the gumminess that's left on the plate, which, as you can see, easily cleans off with acetone, um, you know, 25 plates for $13.99, that's actually a really good price. So as long as you can deal with the, um, the peeling and glueiness and the cutting injuries, which <laughs> charming, um, then I guess that will help you decide whether you want to get them. But I'm kind of excited. I love having new images, so I can't wait to play with those. Um, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.